Well, hey guys, and happy Memorial Day. Natalie here, and welcome back to Hate's a Good Life. I'm so glad you're here, because today... And I'm here too! Oh my gosh, I'm on film! <laughs> and I'm so glad you're here, because today I'm with my sweet friend Kristen, and she is helping me plant our herb garden oh, and our it. window garden. I feel so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so proud of you. This Aww. is just blowing my little mind Me out of the water. Too. I'm so glad you started. And Thanks. You just yeah. Have just, been diligent. Yeah. Just had to start. Kristen is going to help me plant our herb garden, which is right, right next to the kitchen. Oh, oh, here she goes. Here she goes. <laughs> so something you should know about my friend Kristen. <laughs> something you need to know about my friend Kristen is that she's a huge part of why I even started Hates a Good Life. Boom and she has lots of nicknames for me, but one of them is Princess Magnolia. Let me be a part of your magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and she is believing in all of the things for Hey, It's a Good Life, and yes. I'm so grateful for her. So we wanna show you what we're planting out here today. We've got lots of goodies. We've got pineapple sage, sweet alyssum, variegated sage, honey melon sage, English thyme, California poppies, and yarrow. Oh, Apple. and some nasturtium, which he just has the will to live. This guy really wants to live, like, so badly. He has been just pushing to live. Yeah. Oh, I hope you guys are having a really sweet Memorial Day weekend. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the backyard. We still have a giant pile of dirt here. We have excavated this back corner. Let me show you what that's looking like. What amazes me is how hard it is to really estimate or quantify like how much dirt has been moved. Like just looking at this, it's kind of like, oh, that's cool, you turned it up. But like, no, we have two giant <laughs> trash can fulls, a giant wheelbarrow full, another wheelbarrow full, and another trash can just full of dirt that we've been removing from this back section. And I've heard that you can amend dirt. So, I'm hoping that we can put this in a spot, add some worms to it, add some good compost, and slowly over time kind of heal this dirt and reuse it um, elsewhere eventually. So if you guys have any recommendations on that, let me know. Also, I just wanted to take a moment to show you guys what it is to live a day in the life of a gardener. I was wearing my hat, but I gave it to my friend because she needed some sun protection. So I'm rocking this new green hat. I've got my dress on. And check out, check out my shoes. You always have to be ready to go out in the garden. So I'm feeling very fashionable out here today and I am outfitting my friends to be equally, if not more fashionable. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's, uh, I have to say it's really cool to be out here with friends and family in the spot that I envisioned for so long. And though we don't have a table yet, guys, we're making it work. All my people here. So wonderful, but I am actually headed inside right now to go make some brownies. Hi. H hi. Are you having some feelings about the brownie making? Hi. Oh. Also, take a look at our front garden. It's looking so good. I really love having that pop of color outside of our main window. Also, my friends were making fun of me because they know that they're at my house when I have to place my plant starts somewhere out of the way. <laughs> because as you guys know, the home to my plant starts has been in the garage and then here on our kitchen dining table. But uh, we needed the space to eat, so for today, the plant starts are on the curio cabinet. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so I just informed the troops that we can make coffee, like legit coffee here. And they're like, oh yeah, I'll have a coffee. I was like, you want a latte, a cappuccino, an Americano? We got to vote for a latte. And we're extra fancy today because we even have vanilla syrup. Yes. So we're doing some vanilla syrup cappuccinos.
a joy to have one of my dearest, most supportive, most encouraging friends out here as some of our first guests to the new place. And to be able to plant my garden with her was just such a treat. Here is how far we got. There are still a couple spots to fill, still plenty of room actually, which gets my heart so excited to just keep filling these beds with so many varieties of plants. Now the guests are gone and there's still plenty of work to do. We've got to make sure that these plants get in some soil and get the water that they need. So join me as we finish planting the pollinator and herb garden. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. I want to say a special thank you to those who have served our country and those who gave their lives. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.